Welcome Capricorns. I'm back out with another video. So yes, I have been a little MIA, but for good reasons, okay? Just getting ready to be some changes on the channel. Um, and I told you guys last month and the month before that that I was relocating. All right, so, and I'm also doing a lot with the website. So if you guys haven't checked out the website, guys, Head on over there, www.EmpressEmpireOils.com. All right, so let's get into it, guys. Let's talk about November. All right, so let's see what message we get. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, North Node, South Node. You can utilize this video wherever your placement is that you have Capricorn in, okay? <laughs> so let's talk. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, thank you. Please give me a message for the Capricorn, please. For November. Give me a reading for the Capricorn. me a reading for my Capricorn. All right. One more shuffle and then we're going to jump into it. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Emperor. All right. So, and the King of Pentacles. All right. All right. I'm seeing some transformation here. I'm definitely seeing a transformation here. I'm seeing you be in your element here with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. So it's like very bad boss type of energy. The Death card is here. You know, we're in Scorpio season. It looks like there is some transformation going on here. Okay. It looks like um, there is a loving connection that you have here. The Ten of Cups and the Lovers. Okay. So... This is something that you've been waiting on, okay? Some of y'all have been waiting for justice, some type of justice or some type of something possibly dealing with the court system that may have you feeling overwhelmed, but I do see like there is definitely some transformation going on here. All right, so let's see what we got going on. We got the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Devil, Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Hierophant. All right. Okay, so this could be husband energy. I'm going to be real because we got the Four of Wands and the Hierophant here. Definitely is giving me like marriage. This could be for some of you who are in a live in situation or is in a marriage. Some type of connection, definitely here with the, the Two of Cups, Two of Swords as well. Here, too. The Devil, you guys' energy, Queen of Pentacles. This is like you guys' energy. All right, so I definitely see like you're holding either holding on or holding back. Okay, now some of you could be holding on to your money with the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. Some of y'all may be trying to save money at this time. Okay, so why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Ace of Wands. Okay. <laughs> the Ace of Wands is sexual energy as well too this is a new passionate start a new fresh beginning as well but it's like you're holding back and then the challenge being the seven of swords are you holding yourself back from cheating <laughs> i'm just saying it looks like that because it looks like you think that you'll regret it feel like somebody's going to find out and here comes the tower mm -hmm. so you're gonna wait <laughs> Not you not going to do it is you're going to wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to see. <laughs> wait a minute. I was not ready for this Capricorn. Y'all are a mess. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands here? 
Ten of Wands. And the Four of Cups. Okay. You're spying or somebody is spying on you. Could be a Leo. Because we got Page of Swords and the Sun here. You could be spying on a Leo or a Leo could be spying on you. But definitely some spying going on. It's like you could be trying to... You see something clearly. Oh, yeah. I see a third party here with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So... Maybe you're trying to end a third party situation. Something that has been stressing you out. Okay. I see you feel overwhelmed. Like a little, de not a little depressed. Like I'm getting, I, I am getting a, a bit of depression here with the four of cups and the ten of wands. Like feeling overwhelmed, overworked. Just feeling like over, like you feel like you're in overload. Okay. Um, I see you resisting trying not to take somebody's bait. I'm seeing like. Some bait is on a on a fishing pole and somebody's dangling the bait in your face. And then you're like, no, I ain't going to take the bait. I ain't going to take the bait. I know this shit look good, but nah, I'm not going to take the bait. <laughs> like, really. Like, really. Because I see you holding yourself back from being sneaky. Why is the seven of swords here? The king of swords. Do you think you could get away with it? Yep. There's that three of swords and the seven of cups. Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is telling you that you could get away with it, right? Um, but you don't want the person that you're dealing with to think that they're not enough. And I think that's what it is, like, because the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands is saying, like, not enough, okay? And you don't want this person to think that, that they're not enough, okay? So it looks like you're trying to appease someone else's feelings, okay? But you know you, I feel like you know that like you get away with it, but at the same time, you're trying to, not trying to hurt somebody's feelings. Okay, now, why is the Ace of Swords here? The hangman. So you're waiting for some type of truth to come out. Waiting for something to be revealed. Waiting to communicate something. Whew, okay. Why is the hangman here? Capricorns, this is a mess. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Everybody reading this is so messy. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're going to wait to tell this person the truth. That you are definitely juggling. So some of y'all either juggling or this could be vice versa. But we got two of pentacles and the empress. There's definitely a juggling act going on here. Um, somebody's doing something for attention. Somebody walked away or was planning on walking away. We got a queen of cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I, I definitely see that. Like five of pentacles in a chariot. Like there is minimal forward movement in this situation. Like things are just moving slow. Um, You want to tell this person how you feel. Could be a Leo. We got the strength card here. Eight of wands and the moon. You want to tell this person how you feel to try to, so they could try to fix the relationship. But I feel like you feel like, you know, feel bad. Okay. You feel bad about it. Maybe you've been distancing yourself. Because you know that a tower moment will come from you speaking your truth of how you feel. But you might feel like you aren't enough for this person. Or this person is it's something about somebody feeling like they aren't doing enough or they aren't enough. Um, I feel like this person ain't doing it for you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Well, okay, don't just want to jump out. Yeah, you want to take a break. Look at this. Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. Some of y'all want to take a break. But I'm I'm curious because at the bottom of the deck, it looks like you're in this. I feel like for some of them, some of y'all are putting on a facade. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have this perfect energy. And then when you go deeper and look into it, it's like the really what's really real is 
I'm not even really satisfied, but I don't want to hurt this person's feelings. I feel like you want some type of break. I feel like there is, you putting in the effort, okay? Effort is being put in, but you could be feeling like you're wasting time. Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. You're looking at if the situation doesn't work. Um, and you, you're looking at a lot. You're analyzing. You're analyzing something. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. Ooh, the High Priestess. And this one at the jump, the Five of Swords. Yeah. You know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, you know. How can I put this? You know that that this situation is like you feel defeated. Like you know that this person will feel defeated. Okay, so you're kind of like waiting on them. You will possibly wait on them to give up. Yep, yep. Didn't I say the four of cups and the ten of wands again? It's about something, somebody not being enough, not feeling like they're enough. Now we got the four of wands here in the past. Okay, so, and the judgment. Okay, so, the lovers and the six of pentacles. You gave some, you gave this person a choice. You gave this person a choice. Um, so you feeling like, look, I ain't make you make this decision. I gave you a choice, okay? Um, like I said, this person could have moved in with the Four of Wands. This person could be married. Why is judgment here with the Four of Wands? I'm feeling like, yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you may have felt like in the past, like this, you and this person union was was you know it was perfect okay you may have felt like you made the right decision because we got that ten of cups and the knight of cups you offered this person a, a relationship you offered this person the ten of cups or this person offered you the ten of cups so i'm seeing like you feel like okay you made the best decision okay but you may have found out that this person is kind of irrational this person could be younger than you with the knight of swords this is very immature energy this is somebody who's who's super duper irrational queen of wands leo sagittarius aries okay yep i am seeing a third party i feel like with the will of fortune here you felt like this situation would go more in your favor so maybe you possibly added on a third party with the ten of pentacles and the three of swords this person was an option and i feel like you took a leap of faith you went ahead and jumped into a situation feeling like it was the best thing but when you got into it you may start to feel like this isn't a, this isn't enough for you okay so now you're feeling you're dealing with the arguments and the disagreements okay um you trying to keep it afloat though. Two of Pentacles and a Temperance. You trying to keep it afloat. You trying to keep it afloat. You trying. I, I really do see you trying to keep it afloat. But this, the way this keeps jumping out, it lets me know that somebody is feeling like something or someone or what someone has to offer is just not doing it for them now we got the devil here for future energy which is you guys it's energy but you could be feeling like the situation is toxic okay there could be some codependency issues here we got the hermit yeah you could be out here isolating yourself you could be going in hermit mode i see you going in hermit mode because you're trying to figure something out you're trying to figure the situation out okay you're trying to think of a way to uh it's something here involving a water sign pisces cancer scorpio we got queen of cups somebody got rejected or left out in the cold um you could have possibly walked away from a water sign 
Why is the Hermit card here? Could be dealing with the Virgo. Okay. Oh, no, there's way too many cards. Tell me about the Hermit here. Okay. We got the three of pentacles. I don't like picking, using the cards that fell. All right, so we're going to reshuffle here. The tower. It's like you see it coming. You see this tower moment coming. You see it coming. You can feel it. The moon and the temperance. You feel like it's getting ready to come to an end. Like you feel like something is getting ready to come to an end. Somebody is constantly bringing up your past with the eight of wands and the six of cups. Like, and this king of pentacles, you got this energy. And you telling this person how you feel about that. And this person, they want to start arguments all the time. I'm getting like, this person is childish. This is why this person ain't doing it for you. This is why you feel like you're not doing enough for this person or this person isn't enough for you. Because this person is looking at your past, judging you off of your past, and throwing your past up in your face. Um, and it's making you have regrets. You trying to you trying to dissect the situation. You looking at it and you looking like, damn, I done made my choice. Now I'm trying to see how I can get up out of it. You're going to be trying to see if you could just be friends with this person so you and them can just keep it rolling. But I, don't, I just see you feeling like you don't feel like you're enough. Why is the two of cups here? This person making you feel like that. Why is the two of cups here? Yep. Okay, you took a risk with this person. You took a, a big risk, okay? It was something that was supposed to be kept a secret. A third party that was supposed to be kept a secret. The moon and the three of cups. It was supposed to be kept a secret. Okay. Ooh, but there was some type of betrayal, backstabbing type of energy. Ten of swords. Something happened. Something happened. And I feel like this third party could be a queen of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Let me tell you about this queen of wands. She petty. He or she. They petty. Okay, they childlike. Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. They're childish. And I feel like you putting you putting in the effort. You got you putting in a lot of effort. There could possibly be a pregnancy here too. We got the sun and the empress. A lot of times when I get that, the sun and the empress, there could possibly be a pregnancy. Okay. You could get this person pregnant or this person could get you pregnant. Okay? Because they want to they want to try to find a way to keep you guys together or this is your energy. Somebody keeps bringing up the past. Okay? Tell me more about this moon energy. Somebody's feeling like somebody cheat first. Somebody's feeling like somebody cheated first. That's what I'm seeing too. Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Okay. So you was trying something new because you feel like either you either you did something sneaky first or they did something sneaky first. But I feel like you just wanted to try something new with this, this situation. Like I said, this could have been the rebound, Queen of Wands and the, the Knight of Wands. This uh fire sign that you could have been dealing with could have been a rebound. You were just trying to get some justice in the situation. Um, I see you completely abandoned a situation and jumped into something new. And I feel like you was just trying something new, but it's turning out sour. Okay. This person that you're dealing with is in a two of swords energy. Like they're stuck in a crossroads. They're not sure how to fix it. They're not sure how to fix it. Temperance. 
They're not sure how to fix the situation. They don't know what they don't know what, how to how to handle you what to do. They don't know. They're just going with the flow. Why is the page of wands here? The two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? King of Cups. I feel like you want to tell this person how you feel. You plan on telling this person how you feel. Okay. There's something here about your past. Okay. Something about your past that this person keeps bringing up. You waiting on this person to make up their mind or this person waiting on you to make up your mind. And there's a lot of gossiping. Who does a lot of gossiping? Paid the swords and three cups. A lot of he say, she say going on. Somebody is definitely pregnant or is saying that they're pregnant. Somebody wants to get pregnant. Why is the higher thing here? Seven of cups. Hmm. All right, so it looks like the outcome is you guys are going to be making the best decision that you can make. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Cups. I feel like you... Um, you may want to reach out. Possibly to a water sign. But you could be blocked. Okay. Um tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Yep, Ten of Swords. That situation ended. It ended badly. It ended dramatically. So you want to talk to this person. You want to see how they're doing. This is someone from your past. You want to see how this person is doing, but you, I feel like you end up realizing that um, the situation that you jumped into wasn't, the grass wasn't greener. Okay, now tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Yep, the Three of Cups. This person could have been a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person doesn't want to even be around you. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like I said, I feel like this person was a rebound. This Queen of Wands. Like this side chick energy, side piece energy, male or female, you wanted justice in this situation. And this person could have been a rebound, but it's not going, it's not going the way you thought it was going to go. And I feel like you're feeling like the person from your past was a better choice, but you don't even know how to, you don't even, this person doesn't want to even communicate with you. It ended too badly. Yep. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. This person has moved forward. This person has moved on. Um, this person is happy. This is, I feel like this person thought that you would make some changes. Um, I see an offer was made, the Magician and the Knight of Cups. Maybe there was an offer on the table in the past, but you chose somebody else. And somebody feels like you gave them, this person feels like you gave them the runaround. So they ended it. They're done. They closed that chapter. And they're feeling like it wasn't worth it. It's not worth it. And they feel rejected and left out in the cold by you. So they done bossed up. Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. They done bossed up. They done walked away. They stood their ground. Okay. There, there was a battle, a fight, a competition. They didn't want to involve themselves in it. They're pretty, they're pretty pissed about it. They're pet, they're pissed. And they're looking back at the situation with spilled milk too. Um, but this person could be watching you. They're watching you. They're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. But they just don't want to, they don't want to be involved. Okay, so y'all let me know what's going on. Like, the grass was definitely not greener over here on this side. Because now you're dealing with somebody who makes you feel like you're not enough. Or you feel like this person isn't enough. Like, they're not doing it for you. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I definitely want to hear what you guys got to say. Um, what's going on with your situations. If this is your story. 
let me know what's going on. If you're interested in booking a personal, guys, all of that information to contact me is in the drop box below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on future videos, all right? So until next time, guys, ciao.